Yo, what's up? It's your boy coming to you with another retro joint, a Spike Lee joint. Chirac dropped in 2015. Essentially, this is a movie that takes a page out of an ancient Greek play comedy about gang violence. Now, the movie's called Chirac, and that's short for Chicago slash Iraq. The reason is, um, they say that more people of black descent use guns against each other and kill more black on blacks more than any time during the war of Iraq. Astonishing. Spike Lee is a brilliant director. He is my go-to hero for directing. He outdid himself with this joint. He absolutely outdid himself. You got Angela Bassett, Jennifer Hudson, Wesley Snipes, Nick Cannon, Samuel L. Jackson, John Cusack. They're all in this movie. John Cusack plays a white preacher in a black neighborhood. Love it. Samuel L. Jackson, he's kind of like the Dolomite of the movie. He walks around talking in riddles and rhymes, but dropping some serious science. Now, Nick Cannon and Wesley Snipes are the leaders are their, of their, you know, two organizations, rival gangs going against each other. And then all the women of all the gang members are getting tired of all the senseless gun violence. It's too much. These brothers ain't thinking with their head. They're thinking with their guns. The government ain't doing nothing. The police ain't doing nothing. What can be done to save these black lives in these neighborhoods and stop killing each other with gun violence? All the black women get together and say, look sisters, we gotta control these brothers. And how do you control a wild animal? With sex. Yes, with sex. And when I mean sex, <laughs> no sex. They said, we are going to cut them off the pussy. No peace, no pussy. Straight up. They made a vow. All these, I mean, beautiful black women. Oh my God, these women are, they like, they plucked every fine woman in the world when they did screenings for this movie. These women are gorgeous. And they all made a vow. Then when the men come home, especially the, <laughs> the leaders of the rival gangs, what? And the cool thing about this film, they're talking in ghetto vernacular, but in rhythm and rhyme. Kind of like a black Shakespearean type of play. Oh man, this is dope. They dropping some mad lyrics. The conversations that Wesley Snipes is having with his girl is cut back and forth with Nick Cannon having conversations and arguments with this girl about the whole being cut off thing. You know, there'll be no penis between us until you clean up your act. This is bullshit and we're tired of it. Jennifer Hudson's character, her child was killed by a stray bullet. Her emotional breakdown is riveting. It's, my God, earth shattering. Angela Bassett, you can never say enough about Angela Bassett. She's one of the greatest of all time. I tell you, man, Spike Lee had a message and it's in your face. A lot of people don't like that about Spike Lee. Personally, I think we need it, especially as black people. I love the in your face message that he's delivering through the preacher, a white dude in this movie, which is kind of cool. The movie is beautifully shot. Just amazing. The dialogue, the, the writing. Spike Lee and somebody else wrote this together and it is a work of art. I didn't know Spike Lee can do something like this. I know he did like a musical before with uh, School Days, but this right here, to take an old Greek play and flip it and make it black, my God. The soundtrack 
is absolutely amazing. One of the best soundtracks of 2015, straight up. <laughs> it is absolutely one of the best I've heard in a long time. Every person needs to see Chirac. If you're black, it's a must. Because if you grew up in neighborhoods like I did, senseless killings amongst us blacks is equated to war in another country and the fatalities. It's um, earth shattering when you hear the numbers. Chicago is a very violent city. And um, you know, Spike Lee had a message to all those in Chicago, as well as cities all across the United States, man. We gotta stop this black on black crime, man. We're killing each other. And we are a beautiful race. We are a smart race. We are a dominant race. So why do the white man a favor? It's senseless. Until the next time, be sure to like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends, and more importantly, leave your comments down low. And I'm out. Peace. And just remember, it's just my point of view.